Hey everybody, welcome to Always Bored, Never Boring. Today I'm going to be taking a look at painting this Black Panther miniature, which is actually from the Legend of Drizzt board game, but I'm going to be using it as a companion for my ranger for Rangers of Shadow Deep. And um, yeah, black fur, a little bit tricky, but um, I've started with a base coat of a, a spray black, and now I'm going to give it a good coat of Aberdon black. Um, just to make sure that there's no areas where the spray is missed, but also um, just to give it... Abaddon Black has a slightly different coloration to the Chaos Spray that I use. Um, I, I feel it's a little bit warmer. And this will just give us a good starting point to work from. Now what I'm doing is I'm, I've got Temple Guard Blue here, and I'm going to put a very, very small amount of Temple Guard Blue into my slightly thinned Abaddon Black. And then what I'm going to do with that is just pick out all of the raised musculature on the miniature. Um, I'm going to put it down the spine, the back of the tail, the head, the top of the ears, the nose, the top of the paws, any raised muscles. Um, and I'm not being too picky about how I'm doing it because this is a miniature that's covered in fur um, and fur has its own movement and it picks the light differently as it moves across the body. Um, I'm being a little bit rough about how I'm doing this. But just going over the whole thing. And then what I'm doing is I've added a very small amount of the blue again. And I'm doing the same thing again, um, but being a little bit more um, focused on where I'm putting it. As you can see, I'm putting it on the flanks here, over the haunches, any of the raised muscles. And you'll see it's got an ever so slight blue tinge, but I'm using really small amounts of blue at a time. You can see in, in this uh, shot, the blue, the slight blue to it. And that's starting to pick out the details. And now I've added a little bit more of that blue again, and I'm doing the same thing again. So I'm just gradually working it up. And again, each time I'm not being really, really picky about how it goes because it's fur on, on the miniature. But each time I'm being more focused and putting it on more of just the, the most uh, raised surfaces. This really doesn't take very long. It's just a matter of um, layering it up layer after layer. You can see it's really starting to, to pick out all those details. And then what I've done here is I have watered down the last color quite a lot um, to make more of a glaze. And I'm just putting it um, on the edges. I'm doing several coats on the edges of those most raised highlights um, just to blend it all in a little bit more. Um, just so that it doesn't look quite so um, so stark, the difference between the different colours, um, just to blend it a little bit more. So just very, very small amount of the glaze around the edges, just so you don't get that really strong black delineation. Again, it doesn't take very long, you don't have to be too careful. And now you can leave it like that if you want, but it's got quite blue. So I've got some non oil and some purple tone here. Um, it's The mix I'm using is basically about four parts black uh, non oil uh, to one part the purple tone and then one part water. And I am just going to slosh this over the whole miniature. Um, and this is just to tie the colors together and also take a little bit of that blue back out of it to, to knock it back down again. So we get something that's very subtle. I wanted this to be a very subtle coloration so that you can see the definition of the muscles, but it's not really stark and obvious. And, uh, and here you can see I'm putting a lot of this wash on, um, but I will go back afterwards. Um, I will dry my brush and actually draw quite a bit of this back off so it doesn't pull too much in the recesses because we don't want to overpower the painting that we've done but you can see it's a very very quick simple method of doing this and that's the uh, the the fur done so we're just going to go and do the details now so we're using bugman's glow just to just to pick out the tongue i like bugman's glow for things like tongues because it is a fleshy color but it's not a really bright pink um it just it's a good choice i think for tongues 
So just being careful there. And then we're going to use skeleton bone and we're going to use that for the claws and the teeth. And we you know we're not going to be too picky about this because um, the claws are partially retracting. Um, so we're just picking out the most raised details just to, to give that hint of claw coming out. And then of course it wouldn't be one of my painting guides without some Agrax Earthshade. So we're going to put Agrax Earthshade over all of the claws and we're going to put it inside the mouth so it goes over the tongue and over the teeth just to um, mute the colour slightly and also um, draw them together a little bit more. And give that shading. And then we're going to use some ogre and camo to pick out the eyes. Um, we've got to be really careful here. And all I'm doing is I've thinned the ogre and camo ever so slightly. And I'm just going to put two dots inside the eyes. Um, relatively close together. So there's just a very thin line of black between the two dots. Uh, you could do it by drawing a line of ogre and then going back in and trying to put in a line of black. Um, but... I have done it with two dots of ogrin, and you can see that's a pretty good cat's eye. And that's basically finished. All I've done now is what I always do with the bases on these sort of miniatures. Um, it's got a Mechanica standard grey coat, then the Astro Granite, um, and then Abaddon Black, um, and an Ulthuan Highlight. And that's a finished miniature. Very quick, very easy, but I'm pretty happy with how that's turned out. Like I say, it's a very subtle coloration, but you can see all the delineation of the muscles. And this guy will be joining my Rangers of Shadow Deep team. Thank you so much for watching. If you've enjoyed the video, please consider pressing the like button. If you have really enjoyed the video, please consider subscribing if you don't already do so. And hopefully, I'll see you all again very soon. Bye-bye, everyone. Bye-bye.